hi everybody welcome to this uh, new cme going on to acute cholecystitis and its differentiation from chronic cholecystitis we all know the gray scale findings are good enough most of the times like in acute cholecystitis we find a tense distended gallbladder and there is irregularity of the walls however sometimes when there is a confusion doctor can be used and that can be helpful now let us go on to the two vessels hepatic and cystic artery doppler which helps us in making a diagnosis of acute cholecystitis is differentiation from chronic now let us see hepatic artery doppler first where to do the sampling now where you find portal vein as in this picture you can make out portal vein is here parallel to that you see common hepatic artery or the right hepatic artery that is the point where you do the sampling and when the doppler is considered to be positive for acute a positive doppler means when absolute velocity is more than 100 centimeters per second now whenever we talk about absolute velocities we have to always remember that absolute velocities they vary depending upon the doppler angle so what doppler angle we have to use that is also important now the doppler angle which has to be used has to be somewhere close to 60 degrees so either 60 degrees or lesser than 60 degrees that is the doppler angle we have to use now what are the problems with hepatic artery doppler the problem is that when we take hepatic doppler values as positive and we use them for differentiation from chronic cholecystitis that is fine but we have to remember that they are not specific for acute cholecystitis this increased velocity can also be there in cases of hepatitis so here cystic artery doppler becomes more important because you want to be specific then cystic artery doppler is more helpful for cystic artery doppler we have to do the sampling within the wall so you have to see the flow within the wall and you have to remember that although the flow in the wall may be absent in a normal case but in cases of acute cholecystitis we are usually able to get the flow and as a result we can do the sampling of this flow which is a cystic artery flow now when we do the sampling again we have to remember that the angle has to be less than 60 degrees most of the time when it is quite parallel like this so we know the angle is good enough and when it is considered positive it is considered positive when the absolute velocities are more than 40 centimeters per second so remember these two vessels can help you in dubious cases when there is a doubt in differentiation between acute and chronic cholecystitis so that's all thank you